so I'm going to show you how I torque my rod bolts down. Um, I go by stretch. So I use a torque value, but at the end of the day, the torque value is yielding me to a stretch that I need to get to based on the manufacturer. So in this case, it's Manley's recommended stretch. And I basically convert foot pounds uh, on a torque wrench to stretch. So I'm basically torquing uh, the fastener down to, let's say, the number I'm using, which is 65 foot pounds. And that's going to equal the stretch that I'm going to need uh, based on what Manley wants, which is 6 dollars So check it out. Enjoy. Guys, please don't put in the comments about the video quality and it sucks and I need to edit this and this and that, this and that. I don't give up. I'm just making this on iMovie in 10 minutes. And I'm just straight down to business trying to show people what to do, how to do it, and get it done and straightforward, less than five, 10 minutes worth of info. And I'm pretty sure the way I'm describing and showing it is 100% gonna show people how to do it. Like the editing and all that, it's not gonna help more. Like what's in the video now, it's detailed enough. I think that you guys are gonna understand what I'm trying to do. Like I said, I don't care about the quality. Please don't comment that, I don't care. So with rod bolt torque uh, and stretch, I zero the bolt out, so I'm at zero. And then I'll take the other one. This one happens to be at negative one. So when I put that bolt in there, I, can, I can't really adjust it for two different ones. That's why they give you this little thing here. So I could put that thing at negative one to know that one's at uh, negative one. And I can leave this one at zero so that I have a base to start. So then I torque these down to whatever the sheet says here. It says 60. So we'll start with 60. And then while it's at 60 here, torque down with my torque wrench, I can come back and put this tool on here and measure the stretch. And they want about six six dollars in the middle between the two values so i want about six i want to be in the middle so i have to make sure that that torque value i use gets me six if it doesn't i have to either raise the torque or lower the torque to get my stretch torque at this point kind of matters but it's irrelevant at the point where this bolt works at a certain stretch the clamping force how it operates and everything it's dependent on how much it's stretched that's how strong it is so we want to put it at the stretch that manly wants so it's optimal and working the way it should so it's at zero now and then once i torque this down i'll come back and show you what it did see that that's right about six uh right under six right about six this one wants uh, about 58 to 62 and i'm about 60 about 59 60 so i'm literally in that range so i'm perfect and then the other one i'll just flip this over and then instead of starting with the zero i'll start with the negative one value because that one's starting at the negative now one. the other one remember i started at negative one plus five i'm at six so this one's perfect we go back to the sheet here the one i'm using is right there it says anywhere from 55 to 65 it says that i want the middle so i want about six style stretch 60 foot pounds on my torque wrench to get this stretch i needed 65 not 60 but that's not a big deal because it even says here recommended torque value range 55 to 65 and left their factory at 60 to get that stretch well at my shop with my torque wrench at 65 got me that stretch so this is perfect at the end of the day i'm just converting a torque value to stretch you can do this with the little wrench on the block here you can grab that wrench and keep turning it and then check and stretch turning it and check and stretch and or you can have that fixed on there while you're like literally holding the tool and stretching at the same time and you're pulling, pulling, pulling on that wrench until you stop at the recommended stretch that you want, like six style. I just use torque to stretch. So I started with 60 foot pounds, what they set it to, and it didn't get me where I wanted to be. So I loosened them all up, tried again, put it at 65, and 65 got me exactly where I wanted to be. Because when I say 58 to 62, what I, what the proper way to say it is 5 and 8 tenths to 6 style and 2 tenths. Um, but it's easier to say like 58 to 62 when I'm aiming for 60, which is actually 6 style. But as long as you're keeping track of the decimal spot and you know how you're using the tool. Like obviously if I'm using this tool then I know that I got to go to the 6 value, then I know that's 6 style. You know what I mean? Not 60 or 600 or... It's 6 thousandths. So um, on the sheet, I think the proper way to say it is 5 and 8 tenths to 6 and 2 tenths. Um, but I'm just going to refer to it as 58 to 62, just so people can understand it. On my CDI torque wrench at 65 foot-pounds, you know, Manley's left at 60 to get that stretch. On my torque wrench, it took 65 to get to that stretch. Obviously, the type of lube you use matters, whether it's the ARP lube, the Manly lube, if you use oil. Um, so all those affect stretch. So with the, with, the, with the lube that I'm using and my torque wrench, 65 foot-pounds got me between the range of 58 to 62. I got six style. So I know on this torque wrench, I'll note that down somewhere on the guy's build sheet, that six style 
stretch on the rod bolts is 60 foot pounds. Oh, I'm sorry, 65. But let's say you have a snap-on torque wrench or you have like a Harbor Freight one. Don't get hung over about being, you know, hung up on it about being 60. Oh, well, well, at mainly 60, I don't get enough. The stretch is more important. If you're zeroing out the rod bolt and on your torque wrench it says 40 to get sixed out, that's fine. If it's 70 on your torque wrench, fine. 65, 60, that's fine. Just stretch is more important. That's what we're aiming for here, not at the torque value, the stretch. We want that bolt, that fastener at six style stretch between the two values so that it works the way it should. So on my torque wrench, 65 foot pounds with the lube I'm using um, gets me that. So I'm good. So like I said, we're, you could even use a wrench. You could even use a wrench on the bottom. You could literally, as you're putting the motor together, put this on the bottom here and use, you know, zero it out and you can literally torque that wrench down until you get your six style. It doesn't have to be converted into foot pounds on a torque wrench. You can use a regular wrench. At the end of the day, you just zero out the bolt and you want it to go from zero to that stretch so that it's working the way it should. Another thing too, if your value is really off, if your like torque wrench is really off from what the sheet's saying, then you could have a problem with your torque wrench. It might need to get recalibrated or whatnot. You know, if it's the range is 55 to 65 and you're getting kind of a value out of there, it might mean your torque wrench is off calibration, but at the end of the day, stretch. If you're at that stretch, you know, that's okay. Like if your torque wrench is 40 and mine's is 60, but we're both at six style, we're both at six style. But obviously it's kind of indicating that your torque wrench is not calibrated, right? Cause you're kind of off out of the window. But anyways, I hope this helps you guys. Um, and the point is, um to help you guys you know with these little tips and tricks and people are going to be saying oh your quality on the video sucks and all this that's not the point i'm not here to make freaking movies and a1 quality videos like it's it's not what i'm doing I'm, I'm a master tech i'm an engine builder i'm here to help you guys not freaking become perfect at making videos so if you comment this video quality sucks it's in that i don't care there's other people that are using it for something more than that for the actual knowledge that i'm that i'm teaching and showing in there have a good night guys